and she was running along the road and crying and, and calling out and she was never like that. Nobody's mother was ever like that. And she said, where was Clive? Now by this time, I do remember that a lot of people were milling around and uh, uh, milling about in Ocea Road. Um, parents and children and, uh, you know, a sort of flood of people. And Clive was amongst them. <laughs> so that was right. We were all together. Our sense of panic and terror grew and grew. We didn't have it at the beginning. I know we didn't, but it grew. Um, and later on, when we were at home, and I remember this very vividly, we, we couldn't go into the house. We went and looked in the house, but it was in total chaos. And my mother wanted to go into the house and get some bread and butter so that we could have lunch. And Lindsay and I just cried and grabbed her and said, no, no, don't go in there. Because we were so afraid that, you know, she wouldn't come back. I think I know something about how the world comes at you when you're very young that I probably wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, yes, that. I think I know that that is all still so clear in my mind. Everything was curious. And we didn't have much of a feeling that Napier was an amazing place and being looked at all around the world. We later, that came much later. But um, I suppose our sense of the wonder of it grew all the time. We went around and, and stared. The, there was um, there was Doctor was it Doctor Moore Doctor Moore's hospital that nearly fell but didn't quite, and so it was it was like the Leaning Tower. Uh, and so he went and stared at that and felt aghast. You stared at the piles of rubble. I mean, it was a it was a sight to see.